Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna get started today with my house plant tour. Um, we're just focusing on southern exposed windows today. Um, and I do have plant tours for eastern light and western light. So if you're interested in watching that, I'll have them linked down below. I'm just focusing on different types of sun exposure just to make it really clear like which plants will thrive in different types of sunlight. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in watching my houseplant tour, just keep on watching and we'll get into the video. So to start, this is my shelf that I have next to my window. So since it is off to the side, it's not receiving that much direct sunlight. It probably only receives two to three hours of direct sunlight per day. So most of the light that it receives is bright indirect light, which really is working well for these plants. They seem to be thriving. They've been putting out new leaves left and right. So they do seem to really like the shelf. And as for the shelves, I did make them myself. I just took wood from Home Depot. I painted it, I distressed the sides, and then I purchased the black brackets from Etsy. So I'll link the guy down below who makes those brackets if you're interested in buying them as well. So this is my variegated Hindu rope. It really hasn't grown much since I purchased it, um, but they are very slow growing, especially since they have the variegation but he seems to like this location. I haven't noticed any burning on the leaves. He just looks really healthy. And the, most of these pots I'm gonna show you that have um, these little dots and the light pastel colors, they're from Unearth Wonder. So I'll link her down below. She's a potter based in California. And then next to my Hoya variegated Hindu rope, I have my Hoya Neo Ebudicea. And he looks really happy here. I love how shiny and glossy the leaves are and the lime green color. And he's just trailing down this shelf, which is really beautiful. And he's grown some new leaves this summer. So he looks really happy here. I also have another one in my Eastern window and he does really great. On the next shelf, this is Hoya Fitchy. And he is really long. He, I actually bought him and he was quite long to begin with. You can see he just trails down. He has a few peduncles, so hopefully he'll bloom. And he has really interesting veining on the leaves. Really beautiful foliage. You can buy actually all three of these Hoyas from Logies. And then back there we have a little succulent. He's also in an Unearth Wonder Pot. And he is like a little star shape. He hasn't grown at all since I purchased him, but I'm okay. I like the size that he is. He's probably just a slow grower. So next I'm going to show you all the plants that I keep on this table. So as you can see, it's a lot lower than the actual height of the window. So most of the day they're receiving bright and direct light. And there will be a little bit of filtered light that shines through. So there will be some sun rays that get to the plants, but mostly just the bright and direct light is what's hitting them. And they seem to really like it. A lot of these plants have been putting on new leaves and they seem to be thriving. This is Hoya shepherdii and he's known as the string bean Hoya because of the shape of the leaves. And he does really well in this location. He did put on a new leaf right there and you can see a really tiny one off to the left. So he has been growing for me. It took him some time to adjust to my room um, from when I got him, but eventually he did start growing. So I know he's doing well. And just like my plants that I have downstairs, I am using the diatomaceous earth on my soil. And I will make a video about why I'm using it and how it's a good pest control. This is Hoya mini bell. And it was starting to grow a new stem, but as you can see, it kind of shriveled up and dried out. So I'm not sure why that happened, um, but I've had no new growth on this guy. So I'm not really sure why he's taking so long to grow. <laughs> So I'm just trying to be patient. This is Hoya Regida, and the leaves are really waxy and large. They're really beautiful. The reason why I wanted to add this to my collection was because I fell in love with the blooms. I'll put a picture of the blooms on the screen so you can see what they look like, but he's doing really well. I got this one from Secret Garden Rare Plants. Next to that, this is Hoya Potsi Chiang Mai. And I first saw this plant on Doug's channel. He has a Hoya channel. And it really grows quite fast, um, and the leaves are just so succulent and thick. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful plant. I think all three of those leaves are new this summer. And I got this plant from Gardino Nursery. If you're in the market for Hoyas, they have really beautiful plants there. And the last plant on this table is Hoya Carii. And I didn't realize that I actually purchased the splash version. So you can see from this new leaf that it actually has a pattern to the leaf, which is known as splash. And it's just really beautiful, which is interesting since the older leaves don't have that. So I'm wondering if the new leaves that are coming in, if they will have that as well. You can see right there that we have two new leaves on the Hoya Carii. So she does seem happy in this location. And then on this shelf, um, my Hoyas are receiving the most direct sunlight since they are right up close to the window. Both of these guys are David Coming Eye Hoyas. They're just so cute and they actually seem to be liking the sun exposure. I also have them in my eastern window and they do really great there. One is actually going to be in bloom that's downstairs in the eastern window, but they seem to like the sun exposure as well. And there's another Unearth Wonder Pot. This guy is Hoya Hat Sum Pen. He was from Gardino Nursery and he came in a really large size. So that's why I always recommend that nursery because the plants are really healthy and a really good size, really large and well rooted. And there are little speckles on his leaves. This is Hoya Webergii. And if you expose this plant to even more sun, the speckles on the leaves start to turn pink. So they're not really, it's not really exposed to that much sun since it's inside. But if this was like outside, maybe getting morning sun, the speckles would be more of like a light pink color. And the blooms are really beautiful. They have a purple and white color to them. And he's growing this really long vine. He's just like reaching for the sky. <laughs> So I might have to trellis him, I'm not sure. I kind of wanted him to like cascade down this bookshelf, but I think he wants to climb. So I might have to give him a trellis. This is my Monstera. Um, I do have it climbing up this moss pole. I can link the pole down below if you're interested in getting a moss pole as well. He seems to really like this window. He has a lot of new growth that's really healthy. I've had no issues with this plant. I've had him for over a year, probably a year and a half at the moment. And that's one of the new leaves. They're absolutely huge. My hand is like hidden beneath it. It's so large. The leaves are really shiny and healthy. Hopefully he'll um, start to get slits at some point. And I just love the little pot that he's sitting in. This is from West Elm. And I just kept a black nursery pot and I just sit it inside of that decorative pot since the West Elm planter doesn't have drainage and it's very important to have drainage in all of your pots. So it's more of just a decorative element and then, like I said, the nursery pots inside. And when I water it, I just take the uh, nursery pot out of the decorative, water it, let it completely drain out and then pop it back into that pot. All right, so those are all the plants in my bedroom. Now we're gonna head downstairs and look at my other plants that are in Southern Exposure. So these are my next plants over here. Um, they really like the sun, um, and they like to be fed every day, and they get water throughout the day. And they're really rare. Like, these plants, they walk around, and I'm just like, are you really a plant? So if you guys have seen these plants at the nursery, just let me know. I want to know if I'm the only one that has plants that will, like, bark at me, and just, like have fur? I never knew that could happen. All right, so let's move on to the other plants that we have down here. So this is my other southern window that's in the house. I did have a Hoya hanging in that southern window, but I actually moved it because it was developing these black specks, and that is just damage from the sun. So I moved him to my western window just to give him a little bit of less sun. But this is my Amac Euphorbia, and it's doing really well in this location. I water him about once a month and he does just fine. He hasn't grown at all since I got him, so I mean, I hope he's doing okay. I do have my other Amac Euphorbia outside in full sun, and he hasn't grown at all either, so I'm just assuming that he's just a really slow grower, and that's not an issue at all. This is my little succulent that I keep in the window, and he's doing really great. He has a lot of new growth. I think he's native to Hawaii. 
This is Begonia pinafore, and it has really beautiful blooms. It currently is not blooming, but they're like a hot pink color. And I also love the leaves, the little dots that are kind of painted on the leaves. And he's kind of off to the side. He's not getting like direct sunlight. So it's more like indirect and maybe some morning sun since he's not directly in front of the window. All right, guys. So those are all the plants I have to share with you today. Um, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I make videos every week. You can also follow me on my Instagram. It's Juju Succulents. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.